Hello today, and today I'm going to be talking about the iPhone 10 from Apple. Well, who else? Um, <laughs> um, they've done it again, haven't they? They've done it again. You know, since the iPhone 6, which I did a lot a video last about when I was, I was talking about the iPhone 6, the first phone to go to sell for about a thousand pounds. And that was for the, the Plus, the premium model. Now, I don't know, well, as I say, I've never been a fan of iPhones um, for that reason, because they're overpriced for what they are. They're nothing special. Um, I have used one. I've never owned one. I've, I've used one. I think it, I was expecting it to be something, you know, fantastic. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't fantastic one bit. Okay, it's a little bit faster. A little bit faster than its um, rivals at the time. A little bit faster. Ooh, that justifies the high price tag, doesn't it? It's a little bit faster. <laughs> and when I say a little bit, I'm just a, just a minute faster. And I, what I died at the time, I, well, I, I was comparing it to my Nokia N8. Mind you, anything was fucking faster than that. Um, fucking constipation was faster than my Nokia N8 at the time. Um, which, well, I knew then that Nokia phones were shit. Um, so after that, I got a Galaxy Samsung Galaxy S3. I didn't stay with Galaxy um, Samsung. I had that for about four years until I got my next phone because I had to get another phone because it was fucking up. And I went to a Sony Xperia XZ. You know. I, I have a look at other brands. I don't just stick to one brand. And Apple was not on my list whatsoever. I was never going to get an Apple phone. Not for them fucking prices. For what it is. Um, yeah, the iPhone 10. Um, 10 years now of the iPhone. 10 years ago, the smartphone was invented. 10 years ago, the first smartphone was released. But not by Apple. I think LG beat them to it on that. Um, obviously, it weren't no way sophisticated as the iPhone. Um, obviously, yes, the iPhone um, um, led the way at the time. But you know, you got other competitors and other companies out there. You know, soon caught up. Um, so that's probably why they had the premium prices. Probably because there was, you know. The, the real proper, you know, the proper smartphone. When I say proper, you know, one that actually worked. <laughs> um, as I say, my Nokia was absolutely shit. My N8 was crap. It just was glitchy. It was buggy. Um, before that, I had the N97. I don't know why I went for the N8, even though the N97 was a load of crap. You know, you knew Nokia's time was up. Um... Yeah, I like Nokia phones because um, that was just easy to use. I like the simplicity of the phones. Um, not complicated. Um, I, so, I don't really want to be called myself a fanboy. I, I hate being called a fanboy. I, I would never want to be a fanboy for anything. I never have been. Um, but it was just the Nokias that just appealed to me because I just liked them. They were just nice to use. Um, easy and that's why I tend to stick with Nokia's and that was always a, a reasonable price and all you know you also had a different varieties of models of Nokia loads of different models to choose from um, so I'm from the cheapest way to the most expensive business phones which you know I didn't you know I tend to I, I mean I had the, the 3210 the 3310 the 3510 um, I even had the my first Nokia phone was the um, Oh, the Matrix phone, the 7110. That was a really good phone. I love that phone. Really like that phone. The way it is when you just, someone means you push the button. Like that. It's just such a good... Oh, didn't have it that long, no. Um, it was a bit... You know, you know, because I like to keep them in a case. And um, sometimes the thing used to get stuck in the case. And so... And it was a pretty delicate phone and all. If you just in case you smash it on the ground and I think it was, it was quite delicate you know I was always worried that it was going to break or something like that so I don't know I didn't use it that much um, I'll sit quickly I think after that I've got a 
I had already had a 3210. Well, I didn't. I had a 3210 after my set because I was on two different networks. Um, I was on Orange and O2 or BT Cellnet before O2. BT Cellnet, which was a better company than O2, of course. I reckon so anyway. It was much better when there was BT Cellnet. When they turned to O2, it just, I don't know, it just sort of went downhill. And it's still going downhill now. Um, yeah, but Orange, because I was... Um, phone in the states quite a lot so having an orange phone um was a lot cheaper it was i think it was something stupid like 15 pence a minute before i knew about all these calling cards for phoning abroad and all that but the orange phone just you know that's why i had two phones and i had a 30 3210 on my orange phone and then 7110 on my bt cell net and i eventually had the 3310 um a uh, robust phone, and really robust they were, really, really strong. And I like the fact you can change the covers and um, backs. It, I don't know, it just added to the fun of the phone. I just, I like that. Um, and we had the 3510, with the first, I think it was the first phone to have polyphonic ringtones. Um, after that, I went to the States, emigrated, I had some shitty phones over there. And I didn't have no shit. I had the first one was a shitty phone. I was then I was introduced to Motorola. I had a Motorola phone, I had the Razer. Oh, that was a nice phone, that Razer. That was a really nice phone. Um, so when I come back over um, to England, when I moved back, I had um, a Razer 2. Looked really nice, really nice, but the problem is it broke. I think it broke after two weeks of having it, so I took it back and got myself a little... Oh, it was a Nokia... Oh, I can't remember what it was. It was a nice phone it didn't have nothing like moving bits or nothing uh clamshell no it was just a oh, I can't it was a black phone um made out of metal um i think it was a 50 something oh, i can't remember what it is it was a really nice phone but yeah i've had that i had that for a couple of years and then i decided to go for um a smartphone it wasn't going to be the apple phone because that was just way too expensive so i went for um a Nokia X6, was it an X6? That broke, I had to take that back. So then I had my other, my 50 something, using that and then I bought another smartphone, that was a 70 N97, I bought that second hand. It's very glitchy, very glitchy. Then I thought, oh, I'll buy another mark. I bought, I bought an N8. The reason why I bought an N8, because it had the best um, camera at the time, best camera phone. Um, do 12 megapixel pack megapixel take 12 megapixels of still camera still pictures rather and i think it can record up to 720p um yeah i had that but as i said it was very glitchy it was not a very nice phone to use as a smartphone then i bought my galaxy s3 after that i just thought brilliant i'll, I'll keep this for a while you know Phones were getting more expensive, yeah, oh, the S4, the S5, the S6, nah, I wasn't sucked into that, you know, I'm not one of these people that go for the latest smartphones every time it comes out, no, no, I want to get my money's worth out of this, cost me, I don't know, near enough, oh, I don't know, I can't remember how much, it was not cheap, no, they weren't cheap at the time, I think it was 300 and something pounds, I paid for it, but that was, you know, that was the flagship model at the time, but... You know, you can, but the things with Samsung phones and all sorts of phones, Sony phones, there's a right a range of models to choose from. You know, you don't have to go for the flagship model. There are other phones in um, whatever suits your budget. You know, that's great. You know, they should do that. All companies should have a range of phones to suit their budgets. Not everyone could afford the um, the premium models, unless, of course, you're on a contract. Um, if you're on a contract, of course, you know, it comes in with your monthly plan. You might have to pay a bit for the phone, but contract was not me. I would never have a contract. Let's be, I'll be fucked if I'm going to pay money a month and I'm going to be locked into a two-year deal. Go fuck yourself. I am never going to do that. Um, I've been married, so fuck off. <laughs> um, no, no. But no way I was going to pay for a contract. Absolutely never. I don't use the phone that nut enough to justify a, con a contract. Um, 
Yeah, so I've had um, I had my Samsung Galaxy S3, and I moved on. Now I'm using my um, Sony Xperia XZ. Good fun. Um, I think I have said it, I thought it was a little bit disappointing. And yes, it was a little bit disappointing because there wasn't much of a step up. It's a fantastic, you know, the camera on it is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Camera is brilliant. Does up to 4K recording. Um, stills, stills on it. Brilliant. But the phone, the smartphone itself, I really didn't notice a real big step up. From the sec from the S3 to the and this is four years difference. Um, it wasn't much of a step up, if you know what I mean. Because I'm not one to use all the features on a phone. You know, I use it for calling, texting. You know, use the app, WhatsApp. I'm not a Facebook person, so I never use my phone for Facebook. I mean, that's what majority of people use their smartphone for. It's Facebook. Facebook. No, I I rather go out and be sociable with my real friends. Not be sociable with a fucking a computer. Sorry, but that's the way I am. I'm going out with my friends. I'll be sociable with my friends. My phone stays in my pocket unless I get a text saying, yeah, I'll be down there. Yeah, whatever. Or get an email, whatever. You know, I just check it for messages. I don't go on my phone. If I'm with my mates, I don't go on Facebook. I don't even use Facebook on my phone whatsoever. Um... The messenger, yeah, but Facebook itself, no, 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 no way. Um, I'm getting off to the point here. I'm supposed to be talking about the iPhone 10, and I've once again gone into a complete tangent talking about my smartphones. Well, my phones, my smartphones, my normal mobile phones. What? Well, yeah. Right. Let's get back to the iPhone 10. Who's going to buy one? If you're an Apple fanboy, are you going to buy the Apple iPhone 10? Remember, there's no 9. They've cut out the 9. As I said, this 10 is going to represent the 10 years of the iPhone. And the cheapest model, the cheapest model is going to be starting for about £1,000. £999. A thousand pounds that is for the cheapest model of the iPhone 10. I hate to imagine what the premium version how much the premium version is going to be. Um, I did mention this years ago. Um, I think it was um, the release of the iPhone 6 that, that um, the premium model was over a thousand pounds or a thousand pounds. How the fuck can Apple justify the price? You know, okay, all their products have been expensive. I think, you know, it's like you own a Rolls Royce or a premium car, like a prestige car. You know, you pay the price. I think Apple thinks that's who they are. You know, they're a premium company. You know, only the elite can buy them. Well, no, anyone can buy them, but... As I say on a contract, it's different, but I would not pay stupid money on a contract just to own an iPhone, no matter what it is. Because you know damn well, when you buy that iPhone 10, it will be cut, being replaced probably in about six months' time or a year with the iPhone XS with some additional features. What features has this um, X version got? What I'm hearing is got facial recognition. So if someone steals your phone, they won't be able to use it. Um, we had um, retina scan and fingerprint scan on phones, and I think over the last year or two. Now facial recognition. That is not going to stop the fucking arsehole from nicking your phone in the first place. You know, what they should fucking do is for people to stop nicking the phone. 
maybe put something like um, <laughs> if someone nicks it it gives them a fucking electric shock if you have a little button in your pocket someone tries to nick your phone they can nick it it's in their hand push a button gives them electric shock it's you know that'll stop the bastard that'll stop the bastard from nicking it well they might have nicked it but they ain't gonna get away with it because you fucking electrocuted the bastard that's what they should do not this oh eye recognition all that you know that's gonna just stop the person from using it. Ain't gonna stop the person from nicking it. You know, you can enter a code in and every time you use it, you know, they still can't use it. Or can they? These, you know, there's a lot of clever hackers out there now. They can probably get around the code. They can probably get around the eye and the um, eye scan and um, face recognition and all the fingerprint thing. They probably can get around that. They can hack the phone. You know, take the SIM card out. Okay, the phone will be barred. If you get me good, the phone, the phone will be barred. But at the end of the day, you're going through all that trauma of someone stealing your phone. You know, that's not, I've never had it happen to me. I've never had a phone nicked in my life. Um, maybe because I'm very discreet. I'm very discreet when I when I go out. You know, I tend not to get my phone out on the tram or the bus unless I really need to, I, I'll keep it well hidden um, so people can't see what I've got you know it's a shame that you have to do that because um, I'm, I'm, I'm very one to be discreet I don't want to show people what I've got um, on the streets I don't, you know, there's a lot of dodgy people out there and, you know, always out on the thief um, and I don't want to give them Give them that uh, privilege to see what I've got, you know. So I'll keep it in my pocket. I don't use my phone if I'm on the public transport or if I'm walking the streets. Only if I get a call or get a message. And I'll just make sure no one's around. Yep. Okay. It's a shame you have to do that. It's a shame you've got to do that. But I think a lot of people don't realise, you know. I think they live their lives on their phones these days. You know, a lot of people live their lives with their phones. Um... You know, you get a message, a silly message come through on Facebook. Oh, got to check the message. It's got, you know, you've got to check the message. You know, can't wait. No, no, got to check it now. Got to check it. There's thieves out there waiting for that. You know, it's very, you know, being observant. That's why I keep my phone in my pocket. The messages, you know, if it, I look around, no one, no one looks dodgy. Okay, get my phone out very, very discreetly. Um... You know, as I said before, nothing's going to prevent people, thieves, from nicking them. No one's going to prevent that. You know, um, the only thing, only, only way you can prevent people from nicking your phone is yourself. Be vigilant. Um, you can have all the technology in the world on your phone. Okay, it might prevent them from using it when they nick it, but it ain't going to prevent them from nicking it off you. Nothing can. Um, there you go and to have a thousand pounds phone um, you know first thing people do is show it off oh look at me I've got a brand new iPhone yeah it cost me about a thousand pounds I'm paying a 60 pound contract on this um, <laughs> yeah okay um, you know, people see that, people are going to, ooh, right, I'm having that. They're in tears, they have to go and find a phone, fucking call their um, mobile company, tell them your know, phone's been nicked, you know, all that trauma. Nah, I wouldn't want to go through that. Um, yes. This phone was quite dear. I've got to admit, it was quite dear. But I wanted, um, I wanted the facility. I, I like the camera. I don't care if I like about all the apps and that sort of shit. You know, the iPhone 10 is going to have a lot of stuff that a lot of people aren't going to use. You know, same with all phones. You know, what is the point of all this fucking? It's just a, it's just a selling point. You know, to get you to sucked in to fucking buy all this new stuff. Yes, it's got all the latest features on it. Who gives a fucking toss? You're not going to use the fucking features. 
It's just got them so they can sell their product. They hold technology back when they make making new phones. They don't. They can invent all this stuff to put on a phone now, but they hold technology back so they can sell their next products. Um, so you're going to get the iPhone X, and then you're going to get the iPhone XS with additional features because they hold technology back. All fucking manufacturers do that. Um, then they bring out the next year the iPhone 11. I think this iPhone X will be a big seller. I think because it's the 10 year anniversary of the iPhone, I think it will be a massive seller. And you know, if people want to part their money to buy that, well, go ahead. Because <laughs> I fucking ain't. <laughs> Apple ain't getting no money off me, I'll tell you that. Um, I do confess, though, I do confess, um, I have brought Apple products in the past. Um, the iPod. Well, I bought one iPod. My first iPod was a present. Um, it had a 20 gigabyte storage. Um, the one I brought had 120 gigabyte storage of music. It was the i it was the iPod Classic. Um, reason why I bought it because of the mass storage it had. It was better than any other M, um, MP3 player at that time. It was a it was a bit expensive than the others, but it wasn't overly priced. It wasn't stupidly priced. It was in a, a good a good affordable price range. Um, so I bought it, you know, I brought it. And, you know, I had plenty of room for all my music. It was great. I really liked it. Um, easy to use. But then I think any other company could have done that. Um, iPhones are not that impressive. All right, it was probably impressive at the time, but like everything else, it's a smartphone. They all do exactly the same thing. You know, they've got to have an, you know, to be innovative, you've got to have a, something different now, something new. Um, I don't know what they can do to make, well, they mean even they having watches now, so. Yeah, that's a bit of a gimmick, to be honest with you, having a watch. You're going, you know, just be like Michael Knight calling Kit, wouldn't it? Come on, Michael, come on, Michael. No, come on, Kit, fuck you, Michael. <laughs> no, it ain't like that. It's all Bluetooth and all that, yeah. You know, yes, I just think phones in general, smartphones are just going over the top with price now. They're premium models, but at least you can say it with all the major um, phone company, um, the manufacturers phone like Sony, Samsung, etc, etc. They have a range of different models, cheaper models you can buy, um, ranging up. iPhones... They don't do that. They just have the plus, the the basic and the premium model. The S, or later on the S comes out. Uh, you know, I think they, iPhone did bring out some cheaper ones. Um, I don't know what they were, but you don't have a range of iPhones um, unless they bring out the latest one. That's it. You know, I think it's they're there to, for a certain market. Even if I was rich, if I was well off. You know, I was a millionaire. Would I have an iPhone? No. Because I still want value for money. I'll buy something that I like. You know, something that's worth buying. You know. To me, I bought the Samsung Galaxy XZ because it had a fantastic camera. That's what attracted me to it. Um, well, I thought... I'll try something else out, you know, I've had a Samsung, I'll go for a Sony, you know, I like to try out different brands, I'm, as I said, I am not a fanboy of nothing, um, so like with any, all products in the past, I'm not a fanboy of anything, if something takes my eye, I like, I like it, I'll buy it, um, Right, I think this video's gone on long enough. Um, what do you think? Are you going to buy the, X, um, the Xbox? Um, are you going to buy the new iPhone X? Yeah, we'll see. Is it worth a, is it worth a thousand pounds? 
you know, all iPhone, all Apple iPhone fanboys are going to say yes. They're all going to say, of course it's worth a thousand pounds. Tell me why. Why is it worth that much? What does it do that other phones don't? Oh, we've just got the face recognition. Is that it? Is that a fucking selling point? No, it's not. <laughs> not to me, eh? it's going to take a lot of convincing for me about the iPhone. I have used one once, I didn't find it that impressive. It was good, you know, but it was not a lot of difference from any other phone from its time. You know, it's nothing special. Right, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.